I had a daughter um, who was just had turned 16 um, and one day she asked if she could go to a friend's house um, and I said that would be fine um, and she took her bike and she went sort of this back route called the back bay um, which I, I you know told her not to take that route um, and then we um, we never we never heard from her after that over time we hired a private investigator um, and he we learned that she may be with a girl who was last seen um, at a, a sex trafficking treatment center. She had disappeared from there and we realized she had a connection to my daughter, Lindsay. We heard she could potentially have been in Los Angeles County, Orange County, there were sightings potentially or leads of like Riverside County, San Diego, even across the border. We were feel like we were trying to find a needle in a haystack and that's when this um, private investigator said to us, you may want to re reach out to Saved in America. My husband and I decided to reach out to Saved in America to see if they could bring more resources to finding her. And they were um, just a godsend to have because um, we thought, you know, the longer it went on, we'd lost her. We were starting to get desperate and lose, lose hope that we'd be able to find her. It was sort of, you're on your own and you don't know where to look and what to do. Just my husband and I, we had day jobs. We're not experts in doing this. They brought that expertise and knowledge. They have a team of like you know former Navy SEALs, law enforcement attorneys, investigators, cyber experts, and uh, they got a, like a Facebook page up and running. They, they did a lot more than you know we could do on our own with the police department and one private investigator. And he supported us too. He was great. But what ended up happening is that somebody called in to the tip line through Facebook, Saved in America, was able to track where they were, who they were with, and then instigate up with LA County sheriffs they were in Compton, California, uh, a rescue of them. I would think it was probably within 10 days after Saved America getting involved. You have to understand that they are working with other organizations. They were working with the police. They were working with LA County sheriffs. So it's not like they work independently, but they can do things that police can't like they were doing some surveillance so that they could track where they were, hear in, understand whether they were in danger. They can use certain types of resources that the police cannot, even though obviously you're really happy that you, you've rescued her. Um, there, you know, there's, there's ongoing effects of what happened. So we basically had to, in a way, give her up again. And so that was partly what Saved America helped us with, figuring out where did these girls go, where do they go for treatment to be protected. She's got ongoing, probably lifelong trauma from it, and um, there's only so much she can do. Um, I don't think she, like I mentioned, she's the same person as she was before. I mean, she's doing as well as can be expected, but she's harder to reach now. You know, she keeps to herself. She keeps up a facade and she wants to just go do her own thing. Doesn't want to spend a lot of time with her family anymore. Wants to start life anew. I think if a parent, you have to look for whatever resources there are out there. And there's amazing nonprofits like Saved in America that can help. But I think uh, the most important thing is just to educate, to understand that world that's out there that your child or an adult can be vulnerable to. 